Oh, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Black Eden, guys. Back at you with another GTA 5 uh, little online sort of Easter egg tour today because, uh, as you can see, I've got the blimp with me, which means I mean fucking business. But, uh, yeah, they've just released a little Easter egg for Red Dead 2. Uh, that is a little hatchet, which is actually apparently in Red Dead 2. So it's a little, little model that you can get on GTA 5 for it. Um, and to do this, you need to basically complete a variety of challenges. Now, challenges, but when you join a game, you'll, you'll just get text from Maud. Now, Maud, if you don't remember, is from the single player. She's Trevor's demented little aunt or whatever the fuck she is. But she's basically going to tell you, you know, hello, stranger. <laughs> Kill some people for me. Um, so what she'll do is she'll she'll uh, sequentially text you little targets, and she'll also text you a little picture of them. And you've just got to go and take them out, and it, it is that simple. There's a little bit of waiting around in between, but, um, yeah, I mean, when you've got a blimp, there isn't really any waiting around, you know, you're just having a good time. Uh, again, I can't stress these things are so fast, they're so smooth to drive, and they're pretty fucking tough as well. Uh, but anyway, I got the first little message from Maud there. So, she doesn't usually speak very highly of the people, but I mean, obviously they are bounty targets, but... Hey there, ready for this, got a tip, wear this piece of Diritus been hiding, I sent you a coordinate, so yeah, whatever the fuck that said. So basically, uh, this guy, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure his name's Emilio, um... But we're going to go and take him out. So, again, I would recommend using a blimp for this because you can get around the map nice and quickly. But for me, the uh, the first target um, spawned sort of Palato Bay uh, territory. Not quite Palato Bay, but almost there. So, obviously, I cruised my blimp over and um, the way it works is it gives you a search radius. So, you don't actually have a, a target like a player. Uh, you know when you can see players moving around. You've got an area to check, so you kind of got to use both your uh, your searching skills and your, your innate intuition. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing this guy's probably going to be in here. This looks like the kind of spot he... <clears throat> well, what do you know? You can, you can run as much as you want, maybe. You're never going to outrun a beagle. Oh, shit. I missed. Oh, shit, I missed again. But the third bullet was the one that took him down. Five grand for that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Back to the blimp. So yeah, my accuracy really wasn't on point there, but you'll get a text afterwards basically confirming that, you know, you've, you've got the payment, you've killed the person, and that she's going to send you the next one across in, in a short while. So obviously in the meantime, just have a good time on your blimp and don't crash into telephone pylons like me. I stopped for a quick cigarette at the beach because she was taking quite a long time, but uh, eventually she came through with the next one. Now this guy looks like El Diablo from Suicide Squad without the tattoos but um yeah i mean the picture is the most handy part of it because obviously you're searching in a radius you genuinely need to look for that person now luckily this one was in palato bay nice and close and uh when you're in a blimp only about sort of five six seconds away okay then we're closing in on the second target right so somewhere in this proximity I wonder where it could be. Let's start with the big shopping mall, which is probably where he's going to be, let's be real. Uh, search the area. Right, gently settle down the old blimp. Right, let's find this bastard then. Is that... Oh, well, what do you know? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, man. Is he getting up from a 50 cal? Sorry, buddy. Right, that's that one done. Yeah, so I kind of glitched out there. I'm not really sure what happened with that guy. And they can surrender, actually. So if you walk up to them and point a gun on them, they'll uh, they'll do just that. But you dealt with that scum in the only way you could. I've sent your payment. Be in touch with the next one soon. That's what Maud said. So, uh, obviously, I ran into a bit of trouble here. I'm not going to lie. I parked my blimp on a roof. And the moment I got out of it, it said, <laughs> said that someone vandalized it. So I lost it. But, yeah. Are you ready for another bail jumper? It was last seen lurking around the area on your GPS. I only imagine that's how Maud sounds, but um, yeah, it's basically a juggler, uh, well, prostitute sort of girl, NPC. Obviously, I was really pissed off, couldn't get back in my fucking blimp because I parked it on a roof, so I was like, alright, fuck it, I don't need the blimp. So I went off for the, uh, oh, well, I basically saw a little quad bike nearby, I thought I'd take that, but yeah, really fucking embarrassing, really, I'm supposed to be the best pilot, and uh, yeah. But I got a new blimp. Okay, 
Right, he's around here somewhere. Uh, if I were to take a guess, I'd say that little RV hippie camp thing on the right there. So we'll, we'll just settle her down here. Ooh. Careful not to break the windows. Right. <laughs> Where are you, boy? Oh. There's a number of places you could be. Oh, it... I mean, that's not him, but hella suspicious, so I'm going to get him anyway. Hmm. Let's check the motel. Shit, got the police on us. He's definitely at the liquor store, come on. Definitely. Shit. He's not here. Fuck. So I got hit by another car leaving that pub, but um, eventually, <laughs> after killing a fair few innocent people, I was actually able to sort of narrow down my target. Now for me, it was on the roof of this little caravan where the hippies take acid. And uh, she, I'll tell you what, this chicky, she provides a lot less resistance than uh, any of the other people. You can kind of just walk up to her and pop her. And then pop her again, just for good measure. <laughs> so this time, five grand on the bounty. Bear in mind, because there's three of these, you are going to get 15 grand just for doing it. Um, and that's, that's without the bonus at the end, but... The police don't seem to like me going around killing people, but uh, these things happen, you know. So I've got another one from Wood. Hey, want to hear a secret? Got a tip off about a target we're looking for. They're over the spot on your GPS. Yeah, so I guess this is some lesbian biker. <clears throat> Get one up to uh, <laughs> prod some uh, LGBT supporters there. But uh, yeah, spawned on the far like west coast of the map, so came round on the blimp again. Parked it up nice and gently. Oh, I, I haven't quite mastered the blimp yet. You got to give me some some credit, cut me some slack. But yeah, I just walked around to the front of this sort of like uh, supermarket hairdressers, and uh, well, she was right there. I was like, all right, cool. Didn't seem to flinch when I shot a bullet at her, so um, so I shot another one. <laughs> yeah, um, another one, another bounty done. So as I said, that completes our fifteen grand. Don't expect that to be a popular funeral, and here's the only reprobate left to hunt down. So one more person. Now I'm pretty sure this one. I'm not sure if they all spawn in the same place or not, but yeah, this is the last guy left on the list. Apparently he's a slippery weasel, and we've got to make Maud proud. Um, yeah, this guy's. This guy was a bit sadder, to be honest with you. His little, his little location and story. So see that little yellow circle there on the map? That's where he's gonna spawn within the range of. So we take off in the blimp. Okay, so we're closing on the location now. I've got a feeling this guy's going to be either in the petrol station or getting his hair cut. Oh, shit, trees. Oh, dear. That wasn't good for the blimp. Let's have a look. Steady. Steady. Oh, like a glove. Right, where are you, Sonny? We're looking for a guy with a mohawk. Walk down the street. I'm sure we'll see him. Okay, looks like we found a guy over there, but of course we're going to have to use the Desert Eagle. It's alright, it's alright. And that marked the final bounty done. I was quite horrified when I came back to the blimp found it was surrounded by police, but nobody's keeping me away from my fucking blimp, alright? <laughs> so I got back in without a problem. Oh, I say without a problem. I think they rammed the blimp, so it knocked me over, but... They also smashed my windows, the fuckers, but... Once that's done, we've done the fifth... <laughs> just about done the fifth and final target. Um, so Maud will basically uh, send you the location of the treasure. So I'm speeding up here, just flying over the Alamo Sea now, because... The treasure for me was located in this cool little area, a little sort of dockside reach. Um, but yeah, the treasure should be here. Okay, well that's as far as the blimp needs to take me. Let's crack open the treasure chest. Apparently it's uh it's in here. I don't see no treasure chest. Oh fuck off! Right. Ah, this is the treasure chest. 
It's a proper Red Dead little chest and all. Okay, so we open it. What? <laughs> Alright. So this is it. We now own the stone hatchet from Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, that's pretty much how you get it. It's not too not too difficult. You just got to do a few little bounties and then you drive up and get it from the chest. You'll find it on your weapon wheel. And um, that's it. You've got that forever. It doesn't do any more damage than the normal hatchet. But it, it's, quite, it's quite good looking, isn't it? It's got some feathers on it. So yeah.